The grade 12 leadership class at Lake City Secondary are throwing their cell phones in a basket and challenging not only themselves, but everyone in the community to stay off social media for one week. Yeah, we're starting the social media challenge here Monday, February the 23rd to Friday, February the 27th. And really it was an idea that was generated with my leadership students. Just tired of the negative associations with the social media. And so we really wanted to think of something creative and innovative to get kids to really start connecting um, face to face and having positive connections. Robin realized something had to be done when she started to see the negative and harmful effects social media had on her students. I see it a lot more, I think, than the average person because I am a high school teacher. It's not easy and I have students coming into my class daily uh, upset, distraught, uh, confused, hurt, angry, all of the emotions because of things that not only were said to them, about them, but that they have said themselves. With that in mind, in hopes to encourage positivity and face-to-face -face interactions, the leadership class has set up a challenge for everyone in their school. So for those people who think they can refrain from using social media, they can keep their phones. Um, for those of them who think they can't do it, they give their phone to Ms. Bafanov and she will lock it up for the week in the safe, which I think a lot of people have to end up doing. And then um, it's kind of an honorary system, so it's like the 30-hour famine or anything else like that. you got to kind of be honoured and say that, yes, I didn't use my phone the whole week. But of course, just like any competition, there are incentives. Friday we get everyone together and the first person that wins um, gets $200. So to buy in to the event you have to pay $5 and then the second person wins $75 and the third person wins three free drinks from the Falcon's Nest. And then after that, the rest of the money left over, the first person that won gets to choose a charity that the money gets donated to. While the challenge was a great idea, asking teenagers to give up their cell phones and social media, well, you can imagine what their reactions were like. When I first started this challenge, it looked like I, the students were like, I was cutting their right arm off. Like they really were scared. And after a while they realized, you know what, maybe we can do this. And there was lots of excuses as to why they couldn't. But then in the end, it's almost uh, an excuse. Someone is giving them permission to, it's okay to not be on social media all the time. And what better time than to start now? With cyberbullying on the rise, the importance of face-to-face -face interactions have never been higher. It, it, cyberbullying is one of the most uh, prevalent things right now. So it's rising to a dramatic level because uh, you can be anonymous. You know, there's, there's less accountability. And, and so people, people take that opportunity and, and use it, fortunately, unfortunately, negatively. And so any kind of you know, verbal put-down, verbal exclusions, those are all types of, of cyberbullying uh, and, and things that we want to stay away from. I have kids that um, are, you know, don't even show up or they'll come to me and say I need to you know, uh, go talk to a counsellor and, and sometimes it's days. In the beginning, uh, or I guess in December, even in my own leadership class, and it's not immune to anything um, you know, uh, that's not other classes have. And we were dealing with issues like cyberbullying and comments that were placed on Facebook that people couldn't take back. Everybody's finding new ways to do things that is taken away from the modernized, um, you know, modernized ways. And I feel like if we just got rid of, got rid of those or you know, didn't depend so much on them, then we'd be able to have conversations face to face with people. Robin and her class hopes everyone will participate in the challenge and realize the joys of connecting with others face to face. For Go Williams Lake, I'm Christina John.